So today I'm going to be making a video for my younger viewers. I'm going to be reading a story called The Not So Perfect Princess. It's one of my personal favourite bedtime stories. <coughs> the Not So Perfect Princess. Princess Pansy was very spoiled and liked to make lots of noise. I want more dresses, she would cry. I want books and games and toys. When Prince Cedric came to play, Pansy pushed him onto the floor. Then Princess Tara visited and they had a tug of war. You must learn to share, said the Queen, but Pansy just gave a frown. She saddled up her pony, Neddy, and trotted into town. Outside the little toy shop, excited children stood in line. We're queuing for the latest game, they said, pointing at the sign. The game was nearly sold out. There was only one left in store. I want it, whispered Pansy, because she always wanted more. Princess Pansy gave a smile. She knew exactly what to do. Gee up, Neddy, out of the way, she cried. Princess coming through. In the shop, the very last game was just about to be wrapped. Pansy pushed in, for, in the front of the queue. That game is mine, she snapped. It's mine, it's mine, yelled Princess Pansy. I got it, you pee, hooray. I got the very last Superstars game. All I need now to do is play. Oh dear, said Pansy as she read the instructions to the game. It says two players or more to play. That really is a shame. I'll have to find some children to play with. I don't have a choice. So Pansy stood on Neddy and yelled at the top of her voice. I've got the coolest game, cried Pansy. I know you want to play. No one answered Princess Pansy. They just sighed and turned away. There wasn't a single answer, not a whisper or a cry. Only the sound of Neddy's hoofs as he went clip clopping by. Hey you, said a voice, you jumped the queue. We don't think it's fair. There's nothing nice about a princess who doesn't want to share. Pansy got off Neddy and he immediately clip clopped home. Suddenly Princess Pansy found herself alone. The princess began to sob. She cried and bawled and moaned. No one likes me, she wailed. They think I'm spoiled, she groaned. Prin Pansy didn't want to be a royal princess anymore, so she took off her golden crown and threw it onto the floor. Don't cry, said two little girls, when they heard a terrible fuss. We are Katie and Kara, they said. You can come and play with us. Katie and Kara had paper crowns or brooms or tatty dresses. We're riding our ponies, they said. We're playing at princesses. Princess Pansy put her crown on and found herself a broom. It was so much fun to laugh and play, she stayed all afternoon. She rode through an enchanted kingdom that was really just pretend. It's, it's the best fun I've ever had, she said. I don't want it to end. You're a really good princess, said the girls. We want to be like you. Pa princess Pansy whispered sadly, I wish that was true. She thought of all her toys at home and it made her feel so sad. Maybe if I shared them, she thought, I wouldn't feel so bad. Wow, cried Katie and Kara when they saw all the toys that were there. Princess Pansy invited friends to come and play every day. I'll share my toys with you, she said, and everyone cried hooray. Princess Pansy had learned to share, and when she was tucked up tight, she would happily dream of all her friends. Good night, Princess Pansy, good night. That was the story, The Not-So-Perfect Princess. I hope you enjoyed this, and... I hope you have a good night. Bye.